Expensive as though we don't have issues and want you continue to pretend you don't have issues, then go have no tissues. <laughs> the woman, <laughs> the woman with the issue of blood had a very big issue. According to the law of Israel, she's not allowed to, to, to be around nobody. She had an issue. You will have a prayer, you have a request, you have a petition on your heart. And the woman with the issue, the Bible says that when she hear that Jesus was coming, she said, if I just... Right, let me correct something. The woman was not aiming to touch Jesus' clothes. The woman wasn't able to touch. Did the woman want to touch Jesus? But what she says, because of the, the, the circumstance, if I only get to touch the clothes, you don't understand the context or not. Believe me, if the crowd had do so, she wasn't touching her hem, she would have loved Jesus' neck. <laughs> but the Bible says that the cause of the crowd and because of the multitude that pressed upon Jesus, it was hard for she to get through the press. But she still pressed. I know the Lord will make a way for me. I know, I know, I know, Lord. I know, I know, I know, Lord. I know, I know the Lord will make a way. And if the woman was a Baptist, I could imagine she on the ground. I could imagine she pushed down some bishops. She pushed down some reverends. She pushed down some deacons. She tells some Archbishop, excuse me, because I have a situation. And when you know what you want from God, don't study nobody. Push. Push. Hallelujah. Push. I know that it might be hard, but push. I know sometimes the car that does can't help but talk, but keep pushing. And the Bible says that when she touched Jesus, but you came out, and we know the story. The long and short of the matter is, keep pressing, keep pushing, and most importantly, keep listening to the same voice that tell you do this. Because I want you to know that the God that I serve and that you serve is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And I declare today, at this table, we're going to open some miraculous doors in here. Well, I can clap for that because it will show that you have one so many. If you, if, you, if you don't want the door open, let us leave the time to know where we're here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise I declare that this table, because of your obedience to the direction, is going to open some miraculous doors in your life. Amen. God bless you. May Lord keep you, may Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Lift up his countenance and be gracious unto you and grant you peace, both now and forevermore.